Hello and welcome to Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day. My name is Zainab Adirung, and of course I have here with me today... Wasim Ali. This week we're expecting very crucial data from different sectors of the economy. We're especially expecting from the National Bureau of Statistics, the FAC report, which is the Federation Account Allocation Committee report. Now, this report measures the amounts that is being disbursed to different sectors of the economy, different tiers of government, and even to different states in Nigeria from the Federation's revenues. It says here that um, a sum of 2.6 trillion naira was disbursed to the three tiers of government in July. And we're expecting the number to increase in yeah. for August, I believe, I well, best to believe, judging going, by going, going by the what trends, has been um, the trend, you know. Because if, if you look at it by numbers, um, 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 FAC allocation to, to the three tiers of government, the, the, fed, um, the federal, the state, and the local government has been on the rise for mm. the past uh, uh, months now, um, going by the, the devaluation of the currency and the removal of the subsidy. You know, the, subsidy, the president yes. said, okay, so we want to channel the money meant for subsidy for state development. Mm. You know, so it has been on the rise. And so we're expecting that the um, one for um, August, right? Yes, would also increase. Would also increase. So, okay, so we're also expecting the purchasing managers index from Stambic IBTC. This measures the volume and productivity of business activities in the, in the economy. And I mean, for the past eighth month, it has been low. It reached an eighth month low yeah, it in July. July and yeah. judging by the fuel hike, the prices in uh, the fuel hike prices, the um, economic headwinds that we have been going through, yeah. it probably should be also a, a low for the month of August. Well, well I, I think I think um, it's it's going to uh, mildly increase in August and it's going to um, get it go, it's going to drop in October and November. Why? Because number one, inflation has slowed for the second consecutive month. Mm -hmm. And you know, the impact of inflation on economic activities cannot be overemphasized. It's, it's just so there. It weakens um, purchasing uh, power. Mm -hmm. it, it spikes costs of raw materials, productivity, and all of these things, you know, boils down. The burden is passed down to the consumer. So it, you expect that business activity would further drop um going by i mean we further that rise yes yeah, going by because people would not have that power to purchase yeah, more things you know but from. but but the the recent hike of 41 percent there about hike in, in in pump prices will offset the gains you know recorded in this slowing inflation so if the the, the cbn governor said it, that one of the reasons why they are hiking interest rate is because of the high core inflation which you know accounts for energy prices and you know food inflation as well so we expect we expect that the um, pmi the purchasing manager index should also um, should mildly rise uh, in, in september uh, in, in august in august and then it will drop i think again. the report will be we'll out be tomorrow august, and then it will drop again yeah the, the report will be coming out tomorrow so you can every first of i think that, that's every first of every month so the report is also so expect what um the pmi you know prints out tomorrow Yes, we're also expecting the unemployment data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics. statistics. You know, <laughs> just just like just like, like we have uh, National Labor Statistics in Nigeria. So um, unemployment has you know been struggling between four percent to five percent in the U.S. Uh, for July, uh, it was four point two percent, and that's it's a you know it's an unexpected drop from four point three percent it was in June. And so what we are expecting, I mean, in, in August, it was 4.3% and it was 4.2% in, in July. So we're expecting that um, the recent, um, um, what's it called now, Ford, Fed um, court. court. Rate court. Yeah, would, you know, one of the reasons why the, the Fed chairman, Jeremy Powell, I mean, governor, um, did cut rates and the members of Fed did cut rates was because of the slowing, um, um, rise in jobless rates, and of course the, um, um, inflation, also the inflation also coming down a bit. So all of these are having uh, effect on 
the reasons why they cut rates. So, but now that we have seen that jobless rate is slowing, of course, so we expect that um, for uh, what's it called now? for for uh, September, yes, the unemployment rate is expected to also decline, say to four point one percent, because it's been declining now. The, the report has shown that. Um, unemployment has been declining. Unlike Nigeria, that unemployment uh, rose to 5.3% last week. So we expect that unemployment rate in US decline. Okay, that's interesting. This week, we are also going to be monitoring the pattern of the Naira's performance. You know, the Naira last week mm. actually was a bit, it was it was very unstable, really. It we was, it was, it was that, surprising. Yeah, we were expecting that after the MPC rate I mean, hike, yeah. it was going to appreciate a little bit because that's how it usually is. But sadly, it did not appreciate. It actually even devaluated more. And it took the intervention of the Central Bank of Nigeria yeah. selling dollars to authorized dealers to actually bring the naira to about one thousand five hundred and forty yeah. naira per dollar. But, but that, that's 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 at the official window. At the official window. Of at the parallel market, the parallel it, was, market it was still around one thousand seven hundred. Yes, it was. It's a, it's a sorry case actually. So we we are, we are hoping that the naira would um, you know extend its winning streak this week. Um, half the MPC rate hike, but I think I think um, extension. You know, the winning streak will be off the CBN's intervention, <laughs> not well, the MPC rate uh, what, hike. Both will be working hand in hand. Okay. I, I will tell you because um, you know there's usually a lag between when a policy is made and the, the, the manifestation is being mm. um, you know felt. So we are expecting that now that CBN had been aggressive on its monetary stance. We expect that inflation, yes, will will will, will decelerate. In, many people are not even expecting inflation Infl to, to exactly. decelerate. Exactly, where you were going to say decelerate, <laughs> I was I was going to ask you, are you are you certain? Yeah, so we, many people are not expecting. Uh, the expectation is that inflation will rise in 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 September, and uh, maybe I don't know. I don't think it's going to come down anytime soon because of the fuel hike. Actually, all right. So, but um, the Nera. One of the one of the um, trends that I've observed, and the CBN had also highlighted, is that um, the moment there's a fact allocation, there's usually it's it, it's it usually have an effect on the naira. Why? Mm. Because the, the governors are you know exchanging the naira into That's dollar, and so if you are if you have low incentive for your own currency. And you're of course um, um, demanding for dollar more. demanding for pressure. dollar dollar that is even scarce it in this more pressure on the, more the pressure naira, on the naira. and no matter how hike um, no matter the hiking of interest rates and no matter how the CBN intervene in the market it's, it's it's still going to be a no no it's still going to uh, it's not going to bring the desired you know um, outcome yeah so and you know there's also the um narrative that it's not just the monetary policies actions and you know the policies that are actually going to make the naira stabilize of course there also has to be efforts from the fiscal side, the fiscal side in terms yeah. of increasing productivity in terms of increasing um economic growth and just ensuring that there's actual development mm. so that we can stabilize the naira bring down inflation and increase the people's purchasing power basically so yeah. the fiscal side actually have to put in their efforts as well. Well, I, I think the outlook is just that um, the the, um, the government needs to export more so that we can drive in um, the scarce dollar. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is, um, you know, is dollar dollar is is dollar starved. Uh, let me use the word dollar starved. So, a country that is having a low dollar liquidity is expected to have um, um, naira naira issues, just like we have I mean, currency issues, just like we are having for naira, and if the naira, our local currency, is not gaining momentum, it's not in, it's not incentive enough for the citizens to hold by. So then it's a problem. And of course, that's, that's the, the the outlook is that naira is going to end the year by one at one thousand three fifty, one thousand four fifty, mm -hmm. max one thousand five hundred. So and <laughs> funnily, CBN too also has an outlook for inflation. To twenty one for twenty one percent. Before I doubt, the end of the year, the I hope of the year. that sounds like a fast stretch. But, I, but I, 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 let's just just hope. I, I don't want to be a, a <laughs> play the devil's advocate. Uh, uh, so, so I just I just don't want to be the one that will be pessimist. Um, you know, but let's just hope that things will just turn around and the economy will turn the corner. And you know, hopefully, with the um, recent World Bank's loan, it 
maybe Nigeria would actually become a bit <laughs> attractive to well, some investors because it means that okay, if the World Bank would actually put in their money. Maybe there's something. World Bank here. has been putting money in Nigeria. Well, for the past, it, it, it's, it's, I don't know. Well, let's, let's just. I want to say hopefully, but we know that hope, <laughs> hope is not a strategy. No, when we're in a, a renewed hope agenda regime, so let's let's be hopeful. Let's hope. Let's be plentiful of hope, and let's 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 say that um, let's hope that Nera, you know, sees some sort of rebound. So that will be it. Uh, for more in-depth analysis on our stories, you can log on to our website at www.businessday.ng and follow us on all our social media platforms at Business Day NG. My name still remains Wasil Ali. And of course, I'm Zainab Aderomu. Have a wonderful economic week ahead. Analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.